Uncle C back in the office and in today's video we are going to be discussing the top 10 tests that all women will throw your way when you are dating. Now this is a topic I'm extremely happy and excited to go over because these 10 tests, once I break them down for you A through Z, you are going to be able to spot these from a mile away. Let's dive in. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Casey Zander. I'm here to revitalize masculinity and help make men full stack. So, let's go through all of these A through Z because this might take us a while, but here's what I can tell you. If you master these 10 tests, you are going to save yourself lots of heartbreak, lots of confusion, and lots of guessing games up and down from if women are pulling away, if women are playing games, if women are seeing other men, and ultimately you will know how to pass these tests to frame your value as the highest potential value possible. Let's dive in. So, number one, what is the very first test you will start to see instantly from any woman you are dating at any time? Well, the very first test is going to be compliance. A compliance test. What is a compliance test? A compliance test is just as it says. Compli seeing if that man will comply to that frame or that dynamic or that sentence or that structure of that setting and of that interaction. This can be her persuading you to do things like chores, maybe tasks, okay? Ultimately, this is seeing if you will submit to that frame. So a lot of times guys say, well, why do women do these things? Well, I'm gonna tell you, each test has a specific reason why a woman is doing this. And this is wired not only into her hypergamy, but ultimately what she's looking for in a man. When it comes to compliance tests to see if you're compliant to the requests that either A, the woman is demanding, or B, the woman that you're seeing is requesting, she is seeing if you are going weak, okay? She's seeing if you're going weak for her in that interaction, and these are easy things to do. How do you pass this test? Very simple. You decide for yourself if these are things that you are wanting to do or not. If, if you're not wanting to do them, don't do them. So this is number one. Okay, always remember this and have this in the back of your arsenal. Number two, what is the second test? Well, the second test that women will throw you away from time to time is going to be a competency test. Okay, what is a competency test? A competency test is she is testing your masculine competence. Now, what is masculine competence? Just think about this for a second. As men age, as men become wiser, right, men acquire skills. What are the skills that guys have to oftentimes acquire? Well, they have to acquire skills to navigate life, okay, skills to maximize their finances, skills to build value in themselves, skills to succeed in the marketplace, skills for overall life and development, okay? These skills are very important and very vital because this is a test of your fortitude. When it comes to competency, why does a woman want to know if you can pass these tests? Well, A, it's going to be because she wants to know that this is the best option she can get, but B, a man has to fortify himself and develop. There's nothing more important. Here's the few types of things you're going to hear the woman that you're dating say from time to time. The first is going to be a dare, okay? I bet you can't. I bet you can't do this. I bet you don't know how to do this. I bet you will fail at this. It's a doubt test, okay? Competency in and of itself is her doubting your skills. The second thing that you're going to hear from time to time is well, I'm with, I can't believe I'm with a man who doesn't even know X, Y, Z. I can't believe I'm with a guy that doesn't even know how to change a tire. I can't believe I'm with a guy that doesn't even know how to fix a computer. You will hear these things from time to time. Or the last in this category is things that the girl will make fun of you for, okay? This can be weight, this can be income, any things of those nature, but the real question is why? Why are they doing this? Well, it's because there's a potential loss of skills. If there's a potential loss of skills, you have to understand a women look for two things. The first is survival value, the second is replication value. This right here in and of itself when it comes to competency is going to be a test of the survival value that you bring to the table as a dude, okay? This is nothing more than biology. This is wired into, into the humans, okay? You have to actually look at this for what it is. Number three, is going to be frame control. A frame control test. What is a frame control test? Well, I will give you an example. If you are driving and you say, we're going to go to Burger King, 
She says, no, we're going to go to Wendy's. Okay, or we're gonna go to Pizza Hut. Those are two examples, something easy. I give you a basic, easy, easy example to comprehend. That is frame control. What you're going to see from frame control is A, aggressive tone, B, the one that you are seeing is ultimately going to see if that girl can boss you around and three is assuming the lead. Why would she want to assume the lead? Well, I'm going to tell you, she doubts the safety that you can bring to the table. If the woman that you're seeing can control the frame psychologically or emotionally, that is going to register as weakness. And what this is going to register in the back of that woman's head is there is no way this man can protect in the long run. She doubts the safety. Be sure at all times to not only control the frame, but lead the frame to show the best interest for both of you. Okay? You say, no, babe, we're gonna get pizza and you're gonna like it. You know, you'll love it. I'll get you some. Yeah, you'll, get, you'll get a nice little pepperoni. Okay, whatever you wanna say. Keep it light, keep it fun, keep it flirty. The very fourth test you're gonna see from time to time is rules. Okay? Rules tests are going to come, especially within the first probably first date through the first month. The first date through the first month, you're going to see her try to interject rules into the relationship. This can be how fast she chooses to become S3, actually active, okay? How she dates, the types of men that she claims she wants. Why is she doing this? She is doing this to see if you can verbally pass the test and ultimately, the girl is checking if you are game aware. If you are game aware, you will know how to use context in your speech, flirtation in your tone, and pass these tests to build comfort. This is the fourth test all men will find themselves in within the first date, within the first month. And rules tests are ones you have to pass to build seduction. Test number five is going to be the course of the relationship. This is my favorite test to spot. If you routinely see your, your girl saying things like, well, I heard on a podcast from XYZ Chick that this is the right way to do things. Or I read a book by XYZ author and that guy says this is the right way to date. Or guess what? I, I listened to advice from Becky and Becky told me that if a man doesn't commit to you in XYZ time, Becky says if a man doesn't love you in XYZ time, he's not worth it, okay? If a woman is testing you for the course of the relationship, why is she doing this ultimately? It's because she does not trust your leadership. Think about that for a second. If the girl that you're seeing, if the woman that you're seeing is willing to go with Becky's opinion over the lead of her strong man to carry the relationship, what does that say about you? Ultimately, what does that say about the narrative of what that woman believes? See, these are things that are wired so deep. You have to be able to spot these when they're plain as day. Most men, however, never spot these. The sixth test is going to be the comparison test against other men. If your woman consistently makes gestures about how other men look, about the type of income that other men make, about the type of status that other men have, the reason why is because there is a loss of respect. Your best bet in this test is to leave, to exit the relationship or to exit the interaction because that respect is going to have a time coming back, okay? That respect right there is not going to come back due to the fact that you've probably allowed one of these other five to occur far too many times. Number seven is going to be the comparison test against other relationships, okay? This is where the girl that you're seeing, she's gonna say, well, why does Mandy get XYZ roses two times per week? Okay, why does Mandy get a box of chocolates and I don't, right? Tom proposed an XYZ time to Sally, so why can't you be more like Tom? Or guess what, John gave her XYZ, why can't you be more like John? If she's consistently comparing your relationship to others, why? Well, you as a man probably have the way you navigate your life. You probably have purpose, you probably have boundaries, you probably have a way of living, okay? You're solidified within your masculine frame. Why is the woman doing this? Well, she is doing this to test for submission, okay? If a woman tests for submission, she is seeing if you will submit and or acquiesce to the frame of how somebody else lives their life. If you do this, 
This is going to be the hardest one to come back from because what this ultimately shows was you had path, you had plan, you had vision, you had purpose, you had a way of living and you compromise that way of living due to the thoughts, feelings and emotions of somebody else. This right here is going to be the quickest way to strip you of all the things that made you attractive in the first place. And I'm going to tell you a little secret. Most men, when they get one year into a relationship, two years into a relationship, five years into a marriage, they will not even see this one and they will naturally start doing these things without even realizing it. Number eight, the eighth test that you have to pass is going to be the attention test. If your girl is consistently posting things on social media, you know, clothing that may or may not be revealing, doing anything to draw people in, you have to look at why. Why is this happening? Well, first and foremost, there's underlying fishing for other options going on here. If there's fishing for other options going on here, the hypergamous doubt has kicked in and you are no longer her best bet for survival. You are no longer the best mate or the best option. The ninth test is going to be the respect test. What is the respect test? The respect test is where your woman will ignore you, she will be slow to reply, or there's no intimacy whatsoever. Now if you ask yourself why, why is this happening? If we know that chicks love attention, you have to look at this for what it is. Not only have you been deemed low value, but you've been deemed so low value that your attention that you would be willing to give is practically worthless. Let that sink in for just a second. The attention or the provisioning or the dates or anything you're willing to give is worthless. This is a test in and of itself where you have to not only put value on your time, but you're going to have to pull back. And the 10th and final test that you will consistently have thrown your way is going to be the emasculation test. Okay. With the emasculation test, what is this? Well, this is where the woman will make you think that she's leaving. She'll start to throw gestures, throw nuances, she'll pull back. The reason being is because she'll see if you will get emotional. If you become emotional, here's what will happen is you will be stripped of your strength. And the reason why this is happening is because of the hypergamous doubt. You can be Superman, you can be the strongest dude in the world, you can be Captain America, but the second that you show that you're able to be led by your emotions and not stand in rational truth and strength is the exact second that the woman does no longer want you. Fellas, these are the 10 tests you have to pass. And if you pass these tests, not only are you going to be looked at as extremely high value, but you're going to be living a life of abundance and dating options to where dating, even in today's day, even in 2022, will be very, very, very easy. And if you've came to this far in the video, there's a few things I would like to discuss. First and foremost, I want you to go down below and check out the MBT webinar. Okay, MBT stands for Men's Masculine Behavioral Training. And this is an exact step-by-step -step process, A through Z, to learn and understand the four keys of MBT to go from single, heartbroken and confused to dating success with abundance of options or even the ability to attract the woman that you want. That is first. Number two, if you're wanting to work one-to-one -one with me, a few spots this month have opened inside of my inner circle. You can go down below and schedule a call with my brother Cole to see if you're a good fit for my men full stack one percenter program and last but not least guys seriously subscribe to the headman nation newsletter multiple times per week i'm dropping massive value inside of this newsletter to show you specifically how to be a headman and giving you backstage access into some of these exclusive frameworks that i use with my team guys hit the like button comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next one